Cruise News, a young 14-year-old passenger went missing after going ashore at port. A search ensued. However, the cruise ship did ultimately have to depart without them. I'm going to get you the details on that. Plus, a security warning has been issued for a popular port city. And loads more. I'm going to get you the top 10 Cruise News updates to get you fully up to speed. And I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one. Disney Cruise Line has announced new all aboard times for two of their ships. The change involves the Disney Wish cruise ship, which sails from Port Canaveral, and the Disney Magic cruise ship, which is based in Fort Lauderdale. All sailings for these ships that depart on or after September 2nd will have their final all-aboard time moved up by one hour. Disney said in a statement, quote, The all-aboard time for your sailing has recently changed from 4 p.m. to 3 p.m. All guests must be on board by 3 p.m. Guests arriving after 3 p.m. or without proper citizenship documentation will be denied boarding. Number two, a new luggage transportation service has launched that will pick up your luggage at your house and will ensure that it is delivered to your cruise stateroom. The name of the new service is My Cruise Porter. It looks like right now their website is focused on sailings out of Miami or Fort Lauderdale. However, they intend to offer a global service. Here is how it works. You input your pickup address, cruise line, cruise ship, departure port, sell date, number of bags, and then you click submit to get a quote. The quote provides you with the dollar amount that you would be charged and the date your luggage would need to be ready for pickup. Next, you decide whether or not you want to make the reservation. I requested a quote for a sailing out of Miami just to see how much it would cost. We live near Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it said that it would cost $45 per suitcase. The downside is that the luggage would need to be ready for pickup five days prior to the cruise in order to get that price. And I do not pack that far in advance. They do offer an expedited service that you can coordinate through a live service agent at an increased rate. I am not sure if paying extra for this luggage service makes things easier or harder. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Moving on to number three, Royal Caribbean has announced the godmother for their new ship, the Utopia of the Seas. And their selection was 30-year-old singer and songwriter Megan Trainer. The naming ceremony for the Utopia of the Seas will take place prior to its inaugural voyage on July 19th. Next, number four, the three and a half year around the world cruise with new company V La V has announced a new launch date. The V La V Odyssey cruise ship is now planning to launch on July 20th. The ship has been delayed multiple times over the past two months. The company CEO, Mike Peterson, has now released a video providing an update. He noted that all critical path issues have been addressed, so hopefully that July 20th date will go as planned. Then with a port warning, number five, a security alert has been issued for Belize City. Belize City is a common cruise port with nearly 800,000 passengers visiting each year. However, the U.S. Embassy in Belize has issued a state of emergency noting a security alert that will run through July 24th. According to the alert, the state of emergency was issued due to recent increase in violent crime. As always, it is good to know anytime a security situation is heightened at a destination that you will be visiting. If you will be cruising to Belize in the coming days, pay attention to any information that is given by the cruise line. Additionally, I would encourage either remaining in the secure port area or booking an excursion through a reputable excursion company. I would recommend either booking through the cruise line or with Shore Excursions Group. I will put a link down in the video description. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but now it is time for our fast mid-show check-in. In the last video, I asked how many cruises you have remaining for the remainder of the year. I received input from more than 4,000 of you. And here are the results. The majority of you, 78% said that you have one or less remaining, 14% said that you have two remaining, and 8% said that you have three or more. I really appreciate your input on that. Now let's talk about today's question. Our family has several cruises remaining for this year. However, we are about to do something a little different. We are about to depart and go stay at a cruise port city for a little chunk of time. So my question for you today is this. Which of these cruise destination countries would you prefer to go visit? Would you go to A, Jamaica, B, the Bahamas, or C, Mexico? Chime in down below with where you would prefer to go to. And in the next video, you will find out where we decided to go. But now, on with the cruise news. 
Number six, Princess Cruises has now opened their newest specialty dining venue called Love by Brito. This will be available on their son, Princess Cruise Ship. Guests get to enjoy a seven-course meal designed by culinary master Rudy Sodeman. And they also get to take in the artistic decor provided by artist Romero Brito. And the good news is that the price that was initially advertised to be $149 per person is now being offered at $79 per person. So if you're interested, you may want to book it now. Number seven, important details have been announced regarding Disney Cruise Line's new ship, the Disney Adventure. The Disney Adventure will be Disney's largest cruise ship ever. The cruise ship will include seven themed areas. The names of those are listed here. However, if you would like a short synopsis regarding each of those areas, I will make that available to you down in the video description. It has also been announced that the ship will home port in Singapore for at least five years. The ship is scheduled to debut next year. However, the exact date has not yet been announced. Moving on to number eight, we have a hurricane season update. There is activity in both the Atlantic and Pacific. Let's start in the Pacific. Tropical Depression Aleta is currently off the west coast of Mexico. Thankfully, it is moving out to sea and it is not expected to disrupt cruise operations. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic, Hurricane Barrel has made impact on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The Port of Cozumel closed prior to the impact. The storm is expected to move back into the Gulf of Mexico by tomorrow morning. It will regain hurricane strength and it is forecasted to turn north towards Texas. Stay tuned for updates. Next, number nine, a wildfire in Alaska caused the cancellation of the land tours for both Holland America and Princess Cruise passengers. The fire erupted near the entrance of Denali National Park, and it caused widespread power outages. Thankfully, we are now being told that power is being restored in some areas. Fire and forestry teams continue to work the situation. Then sad news, number 10, a young cruise passenger has been reported as missing. The 14-year-old pictured here is a U.S. citizen, and he was a passenger on the Caribbean Princess cruise ship. His name is Aiden Brown, and he has autism. Aiden was on a cruise with his grandmother in Northern Europe. At approximately 7 a.m. yesterday, he was seen getting off the ship while it was at port in Vonamunda, Germany. He never returned to the ship. The ship ultimately had to depart. Local police launched a search and his grandmother was disembarked with the assistance of a care team. If you can help get the word out, Aiden Brown is approximately 5 foot 9 inches tall. He has long dark hair. He was last seen wearing a dark jacket, dark pants, and retro shoes. One question that has been raised is whether or not Aiden was able to exit the ship alone or whether he had a guardian with him. We do not know the answer to that. Let's pray he is found safe and is reunited with his grandmother. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.